Hi guys, Alec Pierce, Vintage Scuba. Here we go again with another really special two hose regulator from my collection. Again, as I mentioned uh, previously, I'm going to show you a bunch of these for two reasons. First of all, they're special, and secondly, they're toast. They're gone. I'm selling most of my regulators now. I've had them for many, many years, and I hope that somebody else enjoys them as much as I do. This is uh, a very well-known regulator. This is the Voigt Blue 50 Fathom, it was called. The Bloit, Voigt, Bloit? The Voigt Blue 50 Fathom, and this particular one is called Metal. So it's the Voigt Blue 50 Fathom Metal. Now that doesn't appear on, on the badge there if you're looking for that, Dick Kevin. But it's kind of interesting because uh, Voigt was, uh, they were really good at marketing, really good. Now I've told you previously that Voigt used to get their regulars from U.S. divers. That's right, they would take a U.S. diver's Mistral or, or uh, whatever it was, and they would just change the lid, maybe uh, make it a different color, a different um, a chrome, different hoses on it, different milk beast, different hoses, a different name, and they would sell it. Now, that was fine. That was under a license agreement with U.S. divers. This was the first regular that Voigt built for themselves. Okay, there were other regulators that were built that were new models that Voigt built, but this was actually the first regulator that Voigt made for themselves. 1959, am I right, Kevin? 59 and 60, this reg was made for two years only. This regulator came out after the green label, the famous Voigt Lung, the ones that were used by Mike Nelson in Sea Hunt. Uh, and, and it was very, very pretty. This is, without a doubt, in my mind anyway, one of the prettiest two hose regulators ever made. You can see a really attractive blue color at a, at a navy blue label. Now, this navy blue label is a little bit uh, odd, it looks like a stick on label which was common later, but this particular label is still a metal, solid metal disc. And instead of having rivets to hold it in place, it had three or four little tabs around the inside that went in the slots on the body, and then on the inside of the body, they were bent over, and that holds that metal disc in place. It was very, very attractive. A pretty blue top and bottom box. Very attractive uh, blue label, dark blue label with uh, uh, silver printing. Gray hoses, picture this now with pretty gray hoses. A mouthpiece, as you can see, is an original Voigt mouthpiece, and you see the color gray. Well, if you can, picture the hoses that same color gray, because they were the same color. These ones have gotten dark over the years. This is 50 or 60 years now. They've gotten dark, which they usually did. Uh, but if it was all in that pretty bright gray. And then they also put on chrome Tinnaman clamps. We've talked about Tinnaman clamps, and you know that uh, most of the earlier regulators had Tinnaman clamps, but they were uh, either uh, black or um, or green, and uh, regardless of which they were, uh, the paint would eventually wear or scratch off, and then they turned rusty. <laughs> so the earlier models uh, had uh, rusty Tinnaman clamps. This had chrome Tinnaman clamps. So anyway, so you take the pretty blue uh, body. The uh, chrome clamp, which was new as well, uh, and most of the regulators before this had uh, those silly little clips. Uh, the navy label, silver printing, beautiful gray mouthpiece, gray hoses, and chrome tenement clamps. It made this regulator one of the prettiest models on the market. It was quite popular. It was also quite popular even today to get a really nice Voigt 50 Fathom, a uh, blue 50 Fathom, uh, Metal is tough to do. And we say metal, we add the word metal because the same model came out in plastic a couple of years later. Cyclac came out in a plastic molded regulator. And it was okay, but it wasn't nearly so popular. It didn't, it didn't, uh, didn't look nearly the same. And plastic in the 60s was not considered a very good material. So there you are, folks. In this case, uh, you haven't seen one and you hear people talking. Now you know what a blue, a void. Blue 50 Fathom Metal, with all of its chrome uh, trim looks like, and it's just a beautiful regulator. And this will be available for sale on, on eBay, or you can call me directly, contact me directly, if you're interested in adding it to your collection. There you go. Hope you enjoyed that. Beautiful regulator from the old days, 59 and 60. Long time ago.